Hi, I'm John, the MedPod Combat Engineer Termel, and I run johntermel.com slash kits, which provides the forms for people who want to self-defend against criminal charges, or for people who want to drag Health Canada into court for delays of their permits, whether the permits or the renewals or the amendments. At the kits page are three links that will take you to the instructions to file any one, and Back in 2014, we had 300 people sign up, which the Crown said was remarkable, extraordinary, unprecedented. And that was when there were only 18,000 victims who'd been cut off from their permits. And now we have over 100,000 people who have filed for their grow permits. Most of them delayed for months and months and months. Number 3,000, a friend of mine, had taken eight weeks, which is more than the four weeks they touted originally under the MMAR. Eight. So by the time you hit 100,000, you can understand why they got delays of 28 and 30 weeks. So this is how to speed up the process and get to the top of the pile. So from my johntermel.com slash kits page, the first three links deal with federal court actions civil complaining about delays in processing of applications, D-E-L-S-C, Delay Statement of Claim, processing of renewals, D-E-L-R-S-C, and processing of amendments, D-E-L-A-S-C. And the documents are there as document files in Word or PDFs to be used. So we're going to click on the first one. These are leading to the instructions. And that page looks like this. On this side, you have the files you can click on to pick up and use. And on this side, you have the instructions on how to file online with the federal court. Pretty simple. Now, if you print out, you have your choices. If you can alter a PDF and stick in your signature, great. If you can't, you can use Microsoft's Word program. And so I have a Word copy there you can print out. And this is it. Four pages. Now. First page, you got to put your name. No file number yet, don't worry. Second page, you got to put the date where you mailed it in. Matter of fact, this is so short, I'm going to read it to you. Your statement of claim. Plaintiff seeks, one, a declaration that the long processing time for access to cannabis for medical purposes regulations, ACMPR, production permits, is an unconscionable violation of the patient's Section 7 right to the life according to the charter, and two, damages from such unconstitutional processing delays. The parties are the plaintiff, who has a medical document, the defendant is Her Majesty the Queen. On this date, plaintiff mailed in the application under the ACMPR to grow cannabis for medical purposes. One, tick, I have received my permit on this date, six months later. Or the other one, tick, I have not yet received my permit. Five. Under the MMAR, the time to process an application to produce marijuana was touted before this court by Dr. Stéphane Lessard, Controlled Substances and Tobacco Directorate, as done in under four weeks. Under the ACMPR, with only production permits to deal with, that time is now up to 30 weeks. 28 for another, many 20s. So, an exemption permit contains the following 10 completed information fields. Name, daily quantity, possession limit, healthcare practitioner, production area if it's outdoors, production site address, maximum number of plants outdoor, maximum storage quantity, and storage address. That's all they have to transfer to the computer. Seven. Almost seven months to key in the information of the computer is excessive, though understandable given insufficient staff. They only have four staff. But doubling staff to eight would cut processing time in half. Eight more quarters it, and 16 more cuts it to under a month. Lacking so few staff members is a lame excuse to delay the processing of medicinal permits. Relief sought. Plaintiff claims unspecified damages if the judge agrees that this is wrong. So, this you want to have it heard in the city of, in the province of, your capital city. Dave, you can have it in your town, but... They'll come to your town for the hearing, but you're all going to be heard together by teleconference anyway. Dated at your town on this date, fill out your personal information. Back page, fill out your personal information. That's it. Now, the signature. In Word, you have to make a JPEG of your signature. Just sign on a white page, 
scan it in, you know, select the signature area, make a JPEG. Now, bring it, click insert in your document, insert it right where you have plaintiff's signature. And that's it. You're allowed to do that. Now, you save it as a PDF. And you have the PDF ready to go. And you should call it D-E-L-S-C because the court is identifying them that way so they'll know and the a's are the amendments and the r's are the renewals so now with this you can now go to the site and you can file it online or you just print up three copies mail them to the court and then as soon as they get it they'll call you the next day to collect the two bucks for the credit card and then they'll mail you a nice copy with a gold star so now on to how you file it online take just a few minutes if you know what you're doing John Turmel's kits page, johnturmel.com slash kits, like a mechanics kit. And the first link there is the Dell SC INS. That's the Delay Statement of Claim Instructions. So we click on that and we get this. These are the complete instructions. On one side, you have the text and what you have to do including the document you have to uh, prepare. This is the filing, okay? This is the link that's going to take us. Click on that and we end up over here, Federal Court of Canada. So, I am now going to run through once and do a filing. So, like it says, you go there, you click English. Next, Proceeding type. Well, this is federal court, not military or tax court. Proceeding subject against the crown. And finally, proceeding nature. And this is the one here. It's others versus the crown, the queen, actions. Now, it's an ordinary action. And you click next. Now, you're going to add the party. That's you. So, choose one. You are the plaintiff. And you're an individual. And you put in your name. Ah. So, and save. Now you can add another party. Choose one. Defendant. And this is other because it's not a person. It's Her Majesty the Queen. Now that we've got the two parties, now we go to the next. Now let's check my instructions down here. Add party, add party, Her Majesty the Queen. Next. Now we've got to add the document. So what kind of document? It is a Statement of Claim, Section 48. And it's in English. And now we've got to go get the file. So choose the file. So I pop over to my thumb drive. Come on, F, down to MedPot, oh, where are you MedPot, and Federal Court of Canada, and I'm going to insert Dell SC dot PDF. Now, people who are um, Filing for amendments, it would be Dell ASC, and for renewals, Dell RSC. So, English, uh, there's the document, Dell SC, no handling instructions. I'm the filing, John Termel, filing party, and then I save. So, I get to here. So, with everything right, you go to next. No more documents. Now, I gotta put in my information. John, I did it before, so it's gonna just. Put it in, but you'll have to take your time and put in that information. So your primary email, secondary email, uh, filing location. Now you got to pick. I'm going to pick Toronto. Okay. And no urgency. And now I hit next. So this is it. This is all the information. And when I click this, submit, you're going to get a transition number that tells you that it's been sent to them, the computer's accepted it, and the next day the clerk is going to call you up and ask how you want to pay your two bucks. And if you have a credit card, then they're then going to mail you a copy of your statement of claim. Okay, at the bottom of each instruction page, if you need interim relief right away, 
let's say you've been paying rent on two places because you want to move your grow and you applied three months earlier and it's now five months you've been playing two places this is hurting you you might want to see a judge right away or if your renewal isn't back and it's going to expire and you're supposed to destroy all your pot that's a great one or if you just want to get started because you got cancer and you may not survive a delay you can file a motion you can click on the document down at the bottom and this is a motion for interim relief so going through it quickly it has a notice of motion saying what day i want to speak to the judge it has an applicant's affidavit laying out the facts and a written representations explaining how they all fit together so you fill out the blanks as usual same thing first page your name and over here take notice that on now you call your federal court and you say when are the next general sittings in toronto it's every tuesday in uh, vancouver every tuesday in montreal every wednesday so you have to give the crown at least three days notice before clear you file it so if you want to file to be heard on a wednesday you got to file it by the previous thursday so they got three clean days in between at the courthouse in and you pick that one and then date it up and then where you are and then what date fill in the information back page you name twice now affidavit you name affidavit of you i you residing at address in your town make oath as follows on this date i mailed my application i haven't got it yet two in the case of ray termel stefan lessard said it they take under four weeks to do an application and far less for a renewal and i know that jeff harris and his wife got theirs done in two weeks so renewals were done pretty fast in those days Given I've waited over four weeks, this affidavit's made in support of everything I'm asking for. And I want interim remedy. Sorry, I should mention that. I want a personal constitutional exemption to do what I need to do right away, basically. Or order them to do it, one or the other, right away. Now, this one here, the affidavit, you can't sign yet. You have to wait until you're in front of the commissioner of oaths, the clerk at the federal court, who will commission and swear, sign underneath that you swore in front of her back page just to your name twice written representation your name on this date i mailed in my application i don't have it yet in the case of ray termel it repeats all the stuff in your affidavit and what you're asking for fill in the blanks fill in the blanks back cover fill in the blanks and the last page of instructions on how to do it once you got it tear it off now what you do is once you got this ready your motion record now you go down to the courthouse and the clerk there will commission it for free if you can find a commissioner somewhere else for free great that's just that one page now that it's completed go make four photocopies at least a few more if you want to pass them to friends now you take one down to the crown attorney's office and they will tell you at the courthouse where it is it's usually nearby Leave one with them. They will stamp on the back, received on another copy. Bring that other copy back to the courthouse with two others. Give it to them. And then that's it. You're filed and you're booked to see a judge in four days. Or in 11 days if you want to give Health Canada time to jump. The reason is they often jump within by getting a statement of claim. But then they don't always, too. But when there's a motion filed, they seem to jump the fastest because they call up and say, hey, listen, if we get it to you, will you call off the hearing? And you go, of course, and that's it. So three times so far they've done that, called off the hearing by getting the exemption of the per person fast. That's it. That's the motion you have to file if you want interim remedy right now. So once you're going to be putting your sob story in front of the judge, Believe me, uh, that's your big chance and to, you know, tell how badly you felt and you've been harmed. And pretty tough for a judge not to come up with some kind of an answer. Though others have dismissed for technical reasons and let a guy's exemption expire one. So that is basically the two-step kit, statement of claim, and you hope it gets action pretty soon. And if it doesn't and you want to prod them along, you file the motion for interim relief to see a judge. And... Now, you're automatically going to be listed with the whole category of people complaining for delays with Jeff Harris as the lead 
plaintiff designated by the court. Previously, everybody who wanted him had to send a fax saying, I want him. But now the judge had said, okay, no need to do that. As soon as you file your statement of claim in the same format, he's going to provide the answers for you. That makes court costs cheaper for everybody, and you won't get dinged with any, for sure. So two bucks to get in on this, get your gold star, your proof that you took a shot at Health Canada when they were playing dirty. And who knows, if this works and the judge says he finds those delays unconstitutional, then we can move for other remedy, like maybe damages, because this was not bad legislation. This was bad administration. Legislation, you can't really complain about for damages, unless there's malice. But bad administration, you can't claim for damages. So that'll be the next step if this works. So get in on it. And we had 300 plaintiffs in 2014 when Justice Manson cut off 18,000 out of the 36,000 patient growers. Now, the media were too busy focused concentrating on the survivors dancing in the streets to mention that half, 18,000, had to shut down. Ouch. Anyway, the point was that that was very unfair. A lot of people joined. 300 people filed statement of claims, two bucks, and uh, tried. And eventually, Justice Phelan dismissed them all with no cost. So we're trying again. So this is simpler. This is an administrative thing. It's not a legislative thing. And if we can find that these things have violated the rights, well, then there might be some money in it for you, too. So that's the kits, how to fill them out and how to participate in a new kind of war.